Hey guys, today I have a little stack of Green Mountain Diapers newborn stuff that we have been using with baby Barrett, and I'm super excited to talk about all of these items with you, so let's hop in and break down some of the newborn items I've been using from the Clothies brand on Green Mountain Diapers. So, super excited. You guys know I love me some Clothies stuff, so let's hop in. So we have the small doubler to talk about. We have the newborn size of workhorse fitted diapers. We also have the size one wrap cover and the muslin half flats all from greenmountaindiapers.com. So let's talk about these items. We'll start off with the little doubler here, which I think is a super important thing to have in the newborn diapering days. And honestly, that all kind of stemmed from Jacqueline from Jay's Nest. She said, she mentioned a couple of times in a couple different videos about the importance of having newborn size doublers. Not this particular brand or anything, but just newborn doublers in general. And I was like, you know what? Let's try some out. And I'm so, so happy that I did. So I just so happened to be making a purchase on Green Mountain Diapers and you have to spend like $49 to get free shipping. So I threw these in there just because of Jacqueline's little suggestion about having some doublers. So these are the um, eight ply organic doublers in the size small and you can add these into everything. Anytime baby starts out peeing anything in those first few weeks, just add in one of these little doublers. They are the perfect little size to fit into. Um, we had the Thirsty's Natural Newborn All-in-Ones. We had an Imagine Bamboo All-in-One. You can use them in, um, if you needed to boost up like the Diaper Right All-in-One, which we actually haven't needed to boost that up. But yeah, it's just a perfect little size. It fits inside of the newborn size diapers. So super, super awesome. Highly, highly would recommend these here. They're super affordable. They are $21.60 for a 12 pack. So just buy a 12 pack and you'll be pretty much good to go. So they are eight layers of organic cotton and I did an absorbency test on them and they held almost half a cup of fluid, which for how tiny this is and you know, not very bulky, half a cup is actually kind of a big deal for this little guy. So yeah, highly recommend those. They are awesome. Let's talk about the muslin half flats now. You guys know, if you watch any of my videos, you know I love the Clothies muslin one size flats or even the larges. I don't know if they sell the larges anymore, but I love their muslin flats. So I thought I would pick up the half flats because a lot of people were asking me if I was going to try them out and I was like, okay, let's just do it. So I picked these up. You can see they are rectangular. They are not square like a regular uh, one size flat is. These are the half flats. They're meant to be newborn flats. So these guys are $16.50 for a six pack and they're supposed to last from birth to two months and they are so far doing that. Barrett is 10 weeks old today as I'm filming this actually. Now at first it was hard for me to figure out a way that I wanted to fold these because it is a little bit different. You know, I'm so used to having square flats to fold up onto baby. You know, if you actually want to fold it and wrap it around the baby. Um, I'm used to working with square stuff. So it was a little bit weird kind of trying to figure out how I wanted to use this as a more, you know, since it's rectangular, I had to kind of adjust things a little bit compared to, you know, when you look on online at different videos on how to fold flats, they're mostly on uh, square stuff. So trying to figure it out with a littler rectangle was actually kind of a, a interesting process, but I did find one YouTube channel. Oh, it's called The Changing Table on YouTube. If you look up their channel, you can see a lot of demos on how to do different folds on half flats and it's super duper helpful. So go check it out if you need that information. I'll try to remember to leave it down below. So they say that it's supposed to last until two months. That's totally true. Definitely made it. Um, was definitely working that long. Um, these are also super great for pocket diapers because they're not as bulky as the regular one size flats. Like, yeah, it's a little bit fluffy, but it's not too bad if you ask me. So I think it's really nice to use in pockets once babies, you know, like maybe, you know, four to six weeks old and you start putting pocket diapers on them, these are a really great option. So even once baby, you know, actually like outgrows folding this around them, they can, they're a great little size for an insert. So they're awesome. And I actually did an absorbency test on these and they held one and a quarter cups of fluid, which is what a traditional one size bird's eye will hold in my absorbency tests. So it holds just as much as a one size bird's eye, which is awesome. I mean, it's really, it's still a very, you know, standard, what I like to call like a basic, you know, like a baseline amount of absorbency, one and a quarter cups is really nice. 
Okay, so next let's talk about the workhorses. I love the workhorses. They come in lots of different sizes. And I picked up these newborn size just this time with baby Barrett. I'd never used the newborn size with my previous babies. Well, Aaron's the only other baby that I cloth diapered in the newborn days. But I was kind of, you know, I was uh, on the fence um, when I had Aaron, my my last baby, my middle baby, when I had Aaron, I bought a, a, a size small of these workhorses. And looking back, I wished I had gotten the newborns. So I bought some newborns for our current youngest baby, Barrett. And I'm so happy that I went with the newborns. These have been awesome. I cannot recommend these enough. They have been a great little investment. So you can get six of these for 68.10, you know, workhorses, you know, um, like fitted diapers can kind of get a little bit more pricey, you know, but these are an awesome little investment, I must say. We had a dozen of them and it was wonderful. Just throw any kind of cover on top, like their wrap or whatever, any kind of cover on top and they work totally awesome. And actually I'm glad I got the newborn sizes because our little baby Barrett is actually smaller than we were anticipating and smaller than his brothers were. So we got lucky and had a very average size baby and not a bigger baby. He was seven pounds, seven ounces at birth and these fit awesome on him. So they say that these will run from birth to 11 or 12 pounds and that's like perfectly where Barrett started to outgrow them, right around 11 or 12 pounds. So they're very accurate as far as how long they're supposed to last on baby. They are just a great fit overall. The legs are perfect size. The waist is a perfect size. I love the, um, the layout of a workhorse fitted because it has a little extra absorbency in the flap here, but it also, you know, that'll get everything clean easier and dry easier because it has, you know, enough movement there in the diaper. It's not all thick and sewn together. I just love workhorses. I've always loved the workhorses. We have used the mediums and larges on my older kids as nighttime diapers with a little bit of a hemp booster in there. I love them and I loved them this time around. They are so awesome. I can't even tell you how much I, I really, really enjoy using these and I totally would recommend them to everybody. I have tried a handful of different fitted diapers over the years and I will always go back to these Green Mountain Diaper workhorses. They are awesome. They dry in the dryer quickly if I use the longest dry setting, like the most dry or whatever it's called, more dry, whatever it is, they will dry with all of the other stuff in the laundry, which is really nice. I hate when I am doing diaper laundry and I get everything out of the dryer and some stuff is still damp. That drives me insane. <laughs> these guys have always been good as long as I run it on the longest setting. Barrett never out peed these. They were never so saturated that we had any leaks. Also, I never had any blowouts from this. So you put this on baby to actually absorb and hold the poo in, and then you put a cover on top to make it waterproof. I never had anything leak out of this onto the cover. So it's like super duper blowout proof. We never had any problems as far as pee or poo is concerned. This little guy in itself held everything in, not even considering like the cover. <laughs> I do want to recommend to you guys to go check out greenmountaindiapers.com because you will see on their pictures of all of their products on babies. People have submitted their pictures of, you know, babies 12 pounds and eight weeks old or whatever. Like you'll know everything about baby and see the fit on the baby and it's super duper helpful and it really helps you get a good idea of like what products you want to invest in. I would highly recommend to check out the website. Even if you're not gonna buy anything, like just they have so much information about cloth diapering and about washing diapers and like all kinds of stuff on there. You should really go check it out if you haven't. I don't know why you would not have already been on that site, but that site is awesome. It's super duper helpful, especially for people who are very new to cloth and just, I know it can be kind of overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff going on, but it's really helpful to be able to see different products on little babies. Now, I have had some people ask me if you can just skip the size small workhorses and go straight from newborn to size medium. So we tried that at about the 11 or 12 pound mark when Bear started to grow out of these. And by grow out of them, like on the butt side, you could start to see his butt crack coming up. So he was like, um, lengthwise, like through the crotch, that's how he was outgrowing it. He still had maybe a couple snaps on the waist to go, but as far as like this way around, you know, the bottom of the baby, he was starting to grow out of it on the butt side. <laughs> so that's why we had to start using something else. So anyway, can you go from the newborns to the mediums and totally skip out on smalls? I know everybody wants to save money. 
Um, I know they, they can be a little bit pricey, you know, and I know they're super convenient and they're really nice to use. So I can see why you would want workhorses, but also why you wouldn't want to want to have to buy the smalls. So let me say something about that. So we did try it at the 11 or 12 pound mark and in the mediums we went, you know, we stopped using these newborns and like I said, they were still fitting him relatively well except for on the butt side. We went to the mediums and I noticed that the mediums legs were a little bit big, but honestly, I don't think they were like crazy big. Like, if you really, really wanted to, I think you could skip size smalls. Well, at least for our baby, I don't know. He's recently, um, so he's 10 weeks old right now, just this past week, so he's like maybe between 12 and a half and 13 pounds right now, he has uh, started really chunking up in the thighs and the legs, so maybe that's, you know, maybe his legs are a little bit chunkier than a normal, you know, like, eight, nine, ten week old. I don't know. But I'm just saying the past like week or so he's finally started to really chunk up in the legs. So maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe his legs were just a little bit bigger a couple weeks ago when we tried the mediums on him. I still put him in mediums. Uh, we haven't had any blowout issues or anything yet. Um, but we only own a couple of mediums. We owned a ton of these newborns and so I got to really get a good idea of how I felt about them because I was using them all day long all the time, you know? The mediums, I only own a couple of them and so I only get to use a, you know, maybe once or twice a day do I get to see him in a size medium. So at like 10 pounds, the legs were a little big on him in the medium. The waist was totally fine. I didn't feel like it was crazy bulky or anything. I don't think it was like, you know, hilarious looking on him or anything. I think they were okay size wise as it was just the legs. And if you're really worried about, you know, blowouts and stuff like that, like you don't want any gaps in the legs, but also it's going to have a cover on top too. So the cover should really save it from blowouts too. So, um, I don't know. Part of me really wants to tell you like, yeah, you can skip the smalls, but it might just depend on how your baby is shaped, you know? So I don't know. That's a really hard decision for me to say. <laughs> I do really like the smalls. I own one small as well, and it's a perfect little transition to go, go from the newborn to the small to the medium. Like, it would be perfect. But if you really, really, really need to save some money, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe you can skip the smalls. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> So lastly, we have the wrap, which is their cover, and this is the size one. I did own the size three with my last baby, Aaron, and I loved it. I still love this little guy here, but I will let you know they have a size zero, which is supposed to have a little dip down here for the umbilical stump. You can get a smaller size than this for the newborn days. I just sized up because on all of the ultrasounds, Barrett was measuring big. His brothers were a little bit big. I assumed Bear was going to be eight and a half pounds or something, but he turned out to only be seven pounds, seven ounces. So he was a very average size baby and still the size one was totally fine for him. It's so soft and flexible and just like, it just feels so beautiful and luxurious and just like, comfy. Um, I never had an issue with it at the umbilical stump because it's so soft and movable. If it had been more stiff or bulky, I wouldn't have liked it to be so near baby's little sensitive belly button in those first couple of weeks, you know, but because it's such a soft, nice cover, I never felt, you know, guilty or worried about it being near baby's belly button. So it was very close to Barrett's belly button, but it never bothered him. We never had any issues with it and it never like bothered me that it was so close to his belly button. So I think if you have babies, if you know that you're gonna have a baby who's like over eight pounds, the size one is a great little investment. You shouldn't even have to worry about the size zero as far as relation to baby's belly button, honestly. So these run $10.99 a piece, which is a great price. They only come in, oh my gosh, I wanna lose it. They only come in the white. You guys know if you've seen any of my reviews on these, I wish they came in a million colors. I would buy them all because they are so nice and pretty and soft and awesome, but I understand, I know that they have to save on costs and it's easier to just, it's more cost effective to just put out the whites. But honestly, if Green Mountain Diapers ever came out with colors, I would buy all of the colors. Oh, and I did read on the website 
um, on Green Mountain Diapers, they have in the like description area, if you're going to be using the newborn size workhorses, you need to buy the size one of the covers because the size zero is just ever so slightly too small to really fit nicely over these workhorses. So if you are investing in, investing in the workhorses and you want to buy their wrap, they recommend to get the size one like I got anyway. Okay, so they're supposed to fit from seven to 14 pounds. Bear is still wearing this. He's probably between 12 and a half and 13 pounds right now. And he still has quite a bit of ways to go in this guy. So I don't know, um, I assume he's gonna make it to 14 pounds easy on this guy. So it's accurate as far as their sizing is concerned. He still has some room to grow here at 10 weeks old in that cover. I love that cover. Maybe I should show you a little bit of a breakdown here. So it does have flaps. It has a flap on the, this is the belly side. There is a flap on the butt side as well. So if you're just using like, maybe you're just folding a pre-fold to throw in there. You got flaps to hold it in place or a flat to throw in there. You have flaps to hold it in place. Um, it does have reinforced, so these snaps here in the front have an extra bit of fabric there to help reinforce those snaps. It has double leg gussets, which is always handy for trying to prevent any kind of blowout situations. I don't think we've ever had a blowout in this diaper, honestly. Um, so you have one little, let me show you, let me get it snapped up a little bit here. You have one little, um, rise setting. You can go one size smaller or have it completely snapped out and it is a three, three across. So it's nice and tight. Sometimes newborn diapers have only two across and I feel like I, I, I like the fit on a three across a little bit better. So you've got like little tiny gaps between these so it holds everything together really well. So let me show you how tiny those little leg holes get. Perfect little leg hole size there. So tiny. <laughs> and then as far as the waist is concerned, it does not have a crossover snap. It has um, vertical, two vertical snaps, but there's no crossover snap. You guys know I love me a crossover snap, but um, you know, it's, it's okay. I still love this cover, even though it doesn't have a crossover snap. So let me show you, I have them as closely snapped as possible. So that is the waist size you're getting out of that with everything as closely snapped as possible. It's a nice little fit. It's a, it's a nice little cover. And I just love how soft and it just feels really comfy. If I were a baby, this is the kind of cover I would want on my butt. <laughs> okay, this video is bigger than I thought it was going to be. I just thought I would throw everything all together because I thought it would be silly to like do a full review like just on a doubler, you know, <laughs> like stuff like that. So I thought I would throw everything together into one little video. These are all the items that I picked up uh, new, yeah, all the new stuff that I picked up from Green Mountain Diapers this time around for my baby number three, little baby Barrett. Go check out their website. There will be a link down below because you can see pictures of all of these things on babies and it'll be super helpful for anybody who is really kind of wants to see how the diapers look up close on a baby. It's so much easier than just like, you know, oh, there's a picture of this diaper here. Like, come on, let's see it on the baby. <laughs> because babies grow so fast in the newborn days, it's really nice to see all the different sizes and all the different babies with all the different products. Like, you can really get an idea. Like I said, like people who've been asking me if you can skip the size small workhorses, you can go and kind of look at the different sizes of babies who are wearing the different sizes. Okay, you guys know, you understand, right? So <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little review, little, you know, um, scramble of reviews all put together. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your opinions about these products down below so anybody who is watching this video in the future can get more reviews from you guys down below, not just my opinion here in this video. I hope you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. I feel like I already said that and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.